Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And if you guys have been following me for some time, I've been covering the Super Bowl since 2017 on how the carriers perform in terms of network performance. And back when I first started, it was all about speed and LTE performance. And that what that's what was the, displayed by the carriers. They've had people there. We've had third party. And they've shown, look, this is what we're doing. This is how fast we are. These are our averages. But now in 2020, that has shifted towards 5G. Now, for the first time, Verizon is actually going at T-Mobile. So in the past, if you guys remember the Super Bowl ads, the commercials, T-Mobile has always fired shots at the competition. Well, now Verizon is firing shots at T-Mobile. And they're saying that not all 5G is created equally. And there's a lot of confusion in the marketplace is what Verizon is claiming. So in this video, um, I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. In this video, you're going to see T-Mobile and Verizon in New York City. And Verizon is showing, look, our 4G LTE is faster than T-Mobile's 5G. So in other words, Verizon is just saying, look, T-Mobile just slapped the logo icon on this phone that's 5G. There is no real generational leap or there is no real performance difference from its LTE network. And they have been displaying this all weekend in Miami. This one took place in New York City and they're doing this at the Super Bowl as well. Inside the actual stadium, they're now doing 5G versus their 5G, which is, of course, millimeter wave. So it's a lot faster than T-Mobile. T-Mobile, on the other hand, has gone the other route now. They're not showing any speed tests. They're showing signal bars now. They're like, look, we can go throughout the entire stadium, Miami airport, all the other areas surrounding that venue, and we are maintaining our 5G. With uh, Verizon, that's not the case. You can see the in, in their videos, you can see the Verizon signal going from 5G to 4G, and then you know back and forth, back and forth, but mainly it's connected to 4G in, the, in those videos, while T-Mobile is showing their 5g connection so in this weekend's uh, t-mobile's ads they're all about you know 5g works everywhere that's their slogan for their marketing campaign and verizon's like no look we're gonna shoot fire at t-mobile you know shots fired because their 5g network doesn't perform any better than lte than our lte network and it can't compete against our 5g network so that's pretty much where we are right now. I didn't just want to run with the Tutela report because there is other third party testing taking place. Just waiting to see what they report. But right now it's still Verizon first, AT&T second, T-Mobile third and Sprint and fourth. And I think that's what it's going to be for the remainder of the weekend, even when the other third parties release their reports. I'm expecting to see Ookla, maybe Open Signal, and then we got Tutela. Tutela is crowd, uh, crowdsourced, so they are pulling data from uh, people's phones. Don't know what apps they're tracking or whatever the case may be, but that's their report. So we, we're going to see when the other reports drop. We're also going to track the uh, usage reports, of course. The carrier us usually reports that the day or two after the Super Bowl to see how much data was being used and what percentage was it, was it being used for. Mo I mean, movies, uh, I mean, in the past, they've people have been watching Netflix at the Super Bowl. So uh, there's no telling what people are doing at the Super Bowl and what they're using their data for. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Let me know if you think T-Mobile is uh, just being exposed. Kind of what everyone did back then when uh, AT&T launched 5GE. And they're like, look, the LTE is faster than your 5GE. Except the only difference is T-Mobile is actually using a real NR, 5G NR connection. That's the only difference right now. But Verizon is still saying, look, it's not a generational 5G connection. It still performs. And in many cases, our 5G, I mean, our LTE network is better. So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading them. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload content. Also follow all of the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.